In this video, we're going to take a look at the new notification system within .NET Nuke 6.2. Now, in order to see notifications within the platform, we're going to need to go ahead and log in. And I'll log in with the administrator account. When I log in with the admin account, up in the upper right portion of the page, we now have a new control area that displays information for the user. So the first option is a messaging uh, icon that will take you to the messaging module. Second option is our notifications. You can see we currently have one notification for the administrator account here. Then we have the admin account, some of the, the profile photo, if we had a, fo a photo attached to the account, and then the logout option. Now in order to see the notification, we can simply click on the notification icon there. And that will take us to our messages page, but it takes us to the notification portion of that messages page. So you can see within the messages page, there's two tabs here, second one being notifications. Again, we have the number one there to show us that we have one notification. And then down below, we see that notification. Now, this particular notification was created in our previous video when we added the social groups module to a page and we created our first social group. So it notifies the administrator here that a new group has been created, has some basic information about that group. Now, from here, we can either remove the notification or we can dismiss it. Now, just visiting the page and the notifications alone doesn't actually make the notifications go away. So if we go to navigate to the home page or any of the other pages on the site, you can see we still have that notification message. So we'll go ahead and click on the icon again, take us back to the notifications page, then we can either remove or dismiss that message. From there, you can see that the notification goes away. And if we were to navigate on the website, the notification icon then changes back to just be the standard notification icon. So you can see there that we can come back to the notifications. We no longer have any notifications. Now from there, we could go into messages. If we wanted to send a message, that'll send a message. We'll talk about that in a future video in the .NET Nuke video library. But the act of actually sending a message would generate a notification on the recipient's end. We'll see that in that messaging video. Thanks for watching.